I'm Ken Nelson here with the trigger portion of our orientation series. Trigger, that's how we make the gun go bang. And it's actually the most important part of shooting because it's the most likely reason that people miss, right? So like with our other the stance and the grip and safety, we have goals. Now our goals for the trigger are to keep the gun still while we release the shot. We need to be able to pull the trigger without moving the gun, especially while the bullet's still in the barrel, right? We gotta keep it still while we're moving our trigger finger. Um, and the second is safety. I'm gonna answer the long uh, discussed question about when should your finger go on the trigger. All right, now, Pretty simple, we're gonna go with on the trigger question. When does your finger go on the trigger? I have a very simple rule, which was taught to me by my mentor, Ron Avery. I completely agree with it. I'm only on the trigger when I'm on target. So on target equals on trigger. Off the target equals the side of the gun. And I, when I will hit, the target, I pull the trigger. I don't do any of these any sooner or later. There's no delay. Here's what it looks like. I'm on the side of the trigger. Big television over here on the conference room wall is my target. When I'm on the target, which could be as soon as here, I'm on the trigger. When I know I'm gonna hit it, I pull. Done. I'm off the trigger. So I'm up on the trigger. I know I'm gonna hit it, pull. I'm back, I'm off the trigger. So basically your trigger finger is on the trigger only when it's on target. You're pulling when you know you're gonna hit it. And the minute you're done with that and you're off the target, it's on the side of the gun. On target equals on trigger, off target equals side. When you'll hit it, you pull. Now, that's safety. Keeping the gun still. What we have to do is we have to be able to maintain all our grip pressures and everything and pull the trigger without moving the gun. Pull the trigger without moving the gun. Pull the trigger without moving the gun. There's a good video that Rob Latham happens to be the first person I ever took handgun instruction from. Talk about starting with the best. He's got a video called Aiming is Useless. And the main point of it is that anybody can aim. But unless you can point, or I'm sorry, unless you can pull the trigger without moving the gun, the gun, then aiming is useless. It's true. The number one reason for missing is moving the gun while you pull the trigger. So as you can imagine, I have homework to help you with this. On the safety side, I've got a drill called up on, down side. And it's basically an extension of our up on target down, up drill that we learned in our grip orientation video. It's gonna work the same. Break it down, build up a stance. The only thing that's gonna differ here is we're gonna do a lot of reps really quickly because we're trying to build in a muscle memory. So I actually have this wrong right here. It's 10 times 10 times two times two. So this is one, one rep. So I'm on the target, I'm on the trigger. I'm off the target, I'm off. I'm on the target, I'm on. I'm off the target, I'm off. I'm on the target, I'm on. I'm off the target, I'm off. I'm on the trigger, I'm on. A lot of benefit in this exercise. We're getting a lot of reps quickly of the down, up, down with, uh, cause I'm not doing this craziness, you know, we're, we're keeping our gun leveled like we're supposed to in that drill. I'm getting quick, fast reps of when my finger's on the trigger and when my finger is off, all right? So one, one rep is actually 10 ups and, and downs, doing it correctly. You're gonna do 10 of those twice, twice a day. So you're gonna get a lot of reps of this very important move. It's gonna burn in this whole do this, present the gun with your sights aligned part, and you're gonna be really good at staying on the trigger when you're supposed to be on and off when you're not. 
Okay, that's the up, down, down, uh, I'm sorry, up, on, down, side, drill. Very important. Now, we have to figure out how to keep the gun still while we're moving our trigger finger. And I've got a few exercises, uh, or I'm sorry, I have an exercise with a few variants that you can do. I call it keep the squeeze with trigger pull. Now the last in the grip, we had this exercise where you kept the squeeze for 60 seconds. You kept the squeeze for 60 seconds. Um, we're gonna do a variant of that. We're gonna do 10 by 30 seconds by, by five by two. Right, so we're gonna hold it. We're gonna do 10 trigger pulls while we're keeping our squeeze for 30 seconds. We're gonna do that five times twice a day. Between the 30 seconds, we're going to rest until our hands aren't tired. It's going to look like this. We're going to do it first without a gun. 30 seconds. So I'm going to build my pressures, come up, my pressures are good, and I'm going to move the trigger finger while keeping the pressure and keeping everything still. I'm keeping the pressure. I can go ahead and aim. That's fine. I'm going to move the trigger finger. I'm going to do that for 30 seconds and then I'm going to stop and rest. Okay. Another variant to do this is with a dummy gun or, or a real gun that's got no magazine, no ammo in the room, cleared and you're pointing in a safe direction. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to build my stance, my grip. I'm going to come up, keeping my pressures, I'm going to touch the trigger for 30 seconds, keeping the pressure. I'm not going to move the gun and I'm going to keep the pressure. I'm burning, burning in how to keep the pressure on the gun while moving my trigger finger without moving the gun or changing the pressure. This, if you've been waiting for it, is the most important move in shooting. Because like Rob Latham says, if you can't keep the gun still, aiming is pointless, aiming is useless. This drill will build in. Now, if you want to do this another way, Take a tennis ball or something you can compress, put it in and compress it and do it. And the benefit of this is that if you don't hold the pressure, the tennis ball comes out. So it'll help you know that you're doing a good rep. 30 seconds. So that's keep the squeeze with trigger pulls. Again, you're gonna do 30 seconds of trigger pulls. I have 10 here, but you're gonna do more than that. Five times, twice a day. Hey, this is the most important move in, in shooting. You owe it to yourself to hit what you aim at. Do this homework, you're gonna be a rock star at it. All right, so this concludes our orientation section. We've covered safety, we've covered stance, we've covered grip, and now we've covered trigger pull. I hope that you can do dry fire, this, these homework exercises, every day until we meet again when we do live fire. I look forward to seeing you on the range.